college kids using prescription drugs to give them an edge in the classroom. And Colleen Henry joins us. Colleen, students told you that the pressure to perform can be overwhelming, and that's why they're turning to chemicals to compete. Yeah, Kat, they are the steroids of academia, and they're raising serious concerns. They're not only illegal, the experts say they come at great health risk. I want to do anything with a camera and a computer with Final Cut Pro on it. He's a college sophomore, a film student, and a supporter of chemically enhanced academics. I don't have class tomorrow. His friends call him Stieg. He doesn't want us to use his full name because when he finishes school, he's going to need a job. I had this class called College Writing and Research where the whole entire class, my whole grade, is based off of one research paper. So I was not failing that class. You know, I would do anything, including take drugs. Last year, police at UW-Milwaukee busted Steak for possession of Adderall, a prescription drug used to treat attention deficit disorder. Steak had neither a prescription nor ADD. He bought the little pink pill from a friend for 10 bucks because it gave him energy, focus, and concentration. And all of a sudden, at the end of the day, I have, I have a 10-page paper, five math assignments, and my room is spotless, you know? So it's like, and that cost me $10. Like, that, work, that works for me. A group of journalism students at UW-Madison were so struck by the prevalence of Adderall abuse on their campus, they made it the focus of a class project. A lot of it makes sense, kind of the, the work hard, play hard mentality that I think a, at least a lot of colleges in Wisconsin um, kind of work under. The team headed to the library in an experiment to see how easy it was to score the drug. La Villa Kapner says to, like, even they were stunned with their results. I went up to the second or third floor and talked to a girl. Uh, it took them 56 seconds and she uh, responded. She's like, oh, I have a friend downstairs who has some. I can get it for you pulled out her phone and started dialing. The students were thrilled when their story was published statewide in December. Maybe a lot of college students might see the story and say, oh, well, that's, that's not news. But I think there's a lot of people, especially in our parents' generation, who have no idea that this is going on. Adderall is just one of several prescription stimulants, or so-called smart drugs, students turn to in their quest for success. The idea of taking smart drugs... Dr. Piero Antuono of the Medical College of Wisconsin says there are much safer ways to improve focus. Probably a good cup of espresso coffee is a relatively very efficacious smart drug. The smart drugs can carry serious risks. Side effects include headaches, sleeping problems, erectile dysfunction, and addiction. And Antuono says the drugs offer diminishing returns. We know very well that as these medications are used more and more, you might be awake and perform more or longer, but the quality of the work you perform becomes very uh, low quality. UWM police say they know some students abuse Adderall, and student orientation includes warnings about misusing all prescription drugs. We don't see a lot of cases. So this is not an epidemic? Uh, not in my opinion, no. 12 News reviewed all UWM's Adderall-related arrests last year, a total of 13, including Stieg's. He says those numbers don't come close to showing how many students actually use Adderall. He believes smart drugs should be legal. Most of the kids that take it, you know, they have scholarships, and it's really unfortunate that when they get caught, they lose their scholarship when they were taking it to keep their scholarship. And it's really unfair because they expect they put all these pressures on us, and then, and then they say, here's this thing that can help you get it done, but it's illegal. So, ha! Now, a couple years back, a group of internationally prominent scientists called for more research into using smart d drugs for the healthy. Theirs remains a minority perspective, Kath. And without a prescription, it's illegal to possess them. It's a felony, and it can carry up to three and a half years in prison if you're caught. Now, Stieg was lucky. His conviction was erased after a diversion program, but he paid a price. Six months of counseling, urine tests, legal fees, and fines, and not to mention the wrath of his parents. Yeah, an eye-opening report. All right, thank